ต่อไปค่ะเดี๋ยวเราจะเปลี่ยนบรรยากาศกันสักเล็กน้อยนะคะหลังจากทุกท่านได้ติดตามกันไปแล้วค่ะว่าเหล่าสตาร์ทอัพแล้วก็สปิเกอร์ระดับโลกได้มาแชร์ประสบการณ์มาให้ความรู้กับทุกท่านอย่างไรบ้างวันนี้เราได้รับเกียรติจากทางองค์การพลังงานใหม่และเทคโนโลยีอุตสาหกรรมประเทศญี่ปุ่นหรือเรียกสั้นๆค่ะเนโดชื่อภาษาอังกฤษก็คือ New Energy and Industrial Technology Development Organization ที่ได้จับมือกันนะคะมาร่วมกันภายในงานสตาร์ทอัพไทยแลนด์ในมุมมองของรัฐบาลญี่ปุ่นมีการส่งเสริมสตาร์ทอัพอย่างไรกันบ้างนี่ถือว่าจะเป็นไอเดียที่มอบให้สำหรับทุกท่านนะคะอย่างไรแล้วค่ะท่านใดที่ยังไม่ได้รับเครื่องแปลภาษาสามารถติดต่อขอรับได้นะคะกับเจ้าหน้าที่ของเราเรามีโต๊ะอยู่ด้านหน้ากับ interpretation service นะคะ Well ladies and gentlemen the next session will be very another interesting session to all of you once again because we are honored from the representative the experts Who find it likely enjoy with us for the start up Thailand 2017 scale up Asia? We are honored from the New Energy and Industrial Technology Development Organization, or NATO. We join with that on the state. We'll challenge the insight through the actions of the Japanese government to support the startup. It's now time to bring you to join with us in this session. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce you the MC from NATO? Please welcome Ms. Haluka Saito. Hello, I'm Haluka Saito from NATO Bangkok. Today, I thank you for coming to the NATO session on Startup today. I will, I will invite today's. Uh, Today's speaker, please come. Uh, please go to the stage. Five person. Thank you for coming to the NATO session on Stand Up today. Again, through the Start Up, uh, NATO has been supporting the joint research by technology-based startup and industry industry partners. Today, we will learn the scheme of NATO startups and what factors lead to success to create new business uh, out of NATO scheme. The session is divided into two parts. Uh, The first part will take about one hour and ends at 2:50 p.m. The second part will start at 3:50 p.m. and ends at 4:45 p.m. I hope you stay for the both part one and two and learn about NATO startups from the various experienced speakers. Second part, we will invite Japanese venture capital and we will ask him what is. Uh, The criteria for startup selection, and we also invite Japanese tech-based startups uh, who take part in NATO scheme. So now we have Mr. Fukuda, executive director from NATO, to give us a word of greeting. Here is Mr. Fukuda, please. Hey, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Atsushi Fukuda, and I am the executive director of Japanese, Japan's uh, New Energy Industry Technology Development Organization, or NEDO. Um, and I'm honored to be here with you today. Um, I'd like to thank to the um, thank you for the joining this NEDO session, and thank the startups and uh, Thailand organizers for um, arranging this NEDO session. 
Uh, business startups are increasingly expected to act as an en engine for stimulating individual innovation and all over the world. In Japan, more startup pitch events are being held by various sectors, including NEDO. Uh, creating a more positive mindset in Japan's Japanese society with regard to start startups. I hope the environment for startups will also become more favorable in Thailand, uh, taking advantage of, of, of momentum created by Startup Thailand. Uh, in next session, um, and from Ministry of Industrial Industry, industry and uh, uh, I'm sorry, um, Ministry uh, from from the two speakers, Ministry of International Trade and Industry Committee will give you a presentation about Japanese recent policies. And after that, um, accelerator Dr. Tatsuro Tsushima and venture capitalist Mr. Nobutoshi Maeda supporting these startups will make presentations. Uh, these access accelerators and venture capitalists. Um, are working together with NEDO, uh, providing startups with one-on-one -on -one support and at the seed stage to cultivate, cultivate an ecosystem where startups can be born. And after that, uh, this, uh, in this NEDO session, um, the second part is uh, uh, after, after Mr. Maeda's presentation, uh, there's a second part. And, uh, um, Three Japanese startups supported and recommended by NEDO will make presentations. And this is a climax part of the uh, NEDO session. The first startup is Wheel Inc. They are a company developing next generation personal mobility. And the second is QD Laser. They are a company developing a ret retinal ima imaging laser eyewear technology. And next is the um, Metosera Inc. They are a company uh, developing a product related to uh, regenerated medicine using uh, fibroblasts. All these companies have been supported by NEDO in line with our efforts to promote collaboration with business partners, encourage venture capitals in startup funding, and introduce accelerators at the startup seed stage, leading to the startups. Um, I hope that startup ecosystem in both our countries uh, will develop further as a result of the session. And furthermore, uh, the, the exchanges will increase between our two countries regarding how best to foster the startup ecosystem and support industrial development. It is my sincere wish that startups in our two countries will play an active role on the world stage as well as in our um, uh, recognized countries. Let me conclude my remarks by expressing my hope that Startup Thailand will make a positive contribution to the sustainable development efforts in Thailand and further enhance uh, the bilateral Thailand-Japan uh, partnership. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Fukuda. Now I would like to introduce Ms. Sumi and Ms. Yamamoto from METI, the Ministry of Economy, Trade, and Industry of the Japanese government. They are going to talk about how METI from the government side supports startups. Please welcome Ms. Sumi. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Uh, my name is Hiro Misumi from the Asia and the Pacific Division, METI Japan. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about new action of the Japanese government for the cooperation with ASEAN countries. Firstly, I'm going to explain about the new direction of ASEAN-Japan economic cooperation. Then, my colleague, Ms. Yamamoto, will introduce the specific action in terms of IoT. As you know, ASEAN and Japan have been cooperating on the various projects so far, uh, mainly to strengthen supply chain. For the further cooperation, we seek equal partnership with ASEAN. In particular, we'd like to cooperate on enhancing industrial structure. 
In the Japan ASEAN Summit meeting held in Laos last September, Japanese Prime Minister Abe stated three pillars to strengthen ASEAN-Japan economic cooperation. The first is to strengthen supply chain and connectivity. The second is to facilitate economic integration through nurturing new industries. The last one is the commitment on high-level mega FTAs. Now, I'd like to focus on nurturing new industries. Uh, nowadays, borderless new businesses using the internet have been developing in ASEAN region. To support these new businesses, we proposed to establish ASEAN-Japan Innovation Network. This is made by business organizations in ASEAN and Japan. The ASEAN side is ASEAN BSC and ABC. The Japan side is such as JETRO, KEIDANREN, and JAIS JICE. JICE stands for Japan ASEAN Innovation Support Network. JICE is the organization formed by Japanese startups in ASEAN to connect startups to Japanese and ASEAN large companies and support to create new value for society. They have been expanding networks from Thai to ASEAN. Uh, back to ASEAN-Japan Innovation Network, business organizations can discuss on various topics for nurturing new industries. These discussions will facilitate business matching between ASEAN and Japanese companies. Also, through the discussion, they can find out the problem. If the problem is because of the policy or rules, they can make policy proposal and submit it to the government. Of course, the government will support their activities. For specifying the problem or bottlenecks, the government will offer financial assistance, such as demonstration projects. Uh, for these activities, we have secured a budget of 20 million US dollars. With using this budget, we support demonstration projects, networking events, business matching, and symposium for the further cooperation between ASEAN and Japanese companies. As the first step, we held a business matching and a symposium in last April. In terms of the business matching, we invited 39 ASEAN companies to Tokyo, and 440 people from Japanese companies visited the venue. According to the questionnaire after this event, 375 business meetings were held, and 182 projects will be contracted in the future. On the other hand, the symposium was to emphasize the importance of the innovation by the collaboration between ASEAN and Japanese companies. Also, the signing ceremony of MOC for ASEAN-Japan Innovation Network was held at the same time. And ASEAN economic ministers witnessed it. I believe we completed these events with great success. In terms of the demonstration project, we want to find problems such as regulatory and institutional reforms through it. We've already selected six projects at the first public offering. One of the selected projects in Thailand is Fujifilm's plan to promote the new blood test service for the lifestyle disease prevention working with Thai laboratory. We will hold the second public offering in August. Although the offer should be submitted by Japanese companies due to the accounting regulation, if you are interested in it, you can offer projects through your Japanese partner. If you don't have Japanese partners yet, you can find the best partner in networking events held in ASEAN countries. 
Uh, actually, the event in Thailand was held yesterday as Embassy Beach, but we are planning in other countries, such as Indonesia and Malaysia. If you wish to participate to them, please contact me or the JETRO office anytime. In conclusion, we are really seeking the way for the further cooperation with ASEAN. Not only the government, but also Japanese companies want to collaborate with ASEAN startups because there will be new chemistry. I'm looking forward to working with you in near future. Uh, now, I'd like to take over to Ms. Ai Yamamoto from the Information Industry Division. She's in charge of promoting IoT acceleration. Thank you for your introduction. I'm Ai Yamamoto, working at METI, and today I want to introduce about uh, I, I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry. Uh, IoT Acceleration Consortium, ITAC, and our event at CDEC. ITAC has been established in 2015, and now we have um, 3, 000, more than 3,000 companies. ITAC has four working groups, and we have uh, three supports for members financial support, regulatory support, and business matching support. And ITA provides business opportunities also for ASEAN uh, startups, for selected companies uh, to CTEC. And CTEC is one of the biggest IT and electricity show in Japan. And about business opportunities, we provide three supports for ASEAN uh, startup. First, uh, you can have a business matching with Japanese companies. Second, you can have a, a free exhibition space at the CTEC for free. And third, you can have a, a pitch on stage to Japanese companies. What you have to do to participate is quite simple. Please register your company's name and project on the website. And then ITAC member vote by their interest. And the top 10 company can come to Japan with free accommodation fee and free uh, flight fee. You don't have to pay for that. And this is the most important point that we postponed the deadline because this is yesterday. So we postponed to next Thursday, uh, 13 July. We hope to see you in Japan. And uh, yeah, you can have a good a business matching with Japanese uh, companies. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Ms. Sumi and Ms. Yamamoto. Now I'd like to introduce the next speaker, Ms. Mr. Ibuki, the Chief Officer of NATO. He will give us a presentation on the NATO scheme and tips on how to get support of NATO startups. Mr. Ibuki, could you tell us about what NATO offers the support and the type of scheme? Mr. Ibuki, please. Okay. up. Thank you for coming today. My name is Shinichiro Ibuki from NATO Japan. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about uh, how NATO support for R&D startups and SMEs. Uh, before talking about that, uh, let me introduce my organization, NATO. The official name is New Energy and Industrial Technology Development Organization, and we are the, uh, one of the largest R&D management organizations in Japan. And we have two missions uh, like this. And we are uh, mainly uh, conducting on the national R&D project. Uh, however, uh, for the second mission, uh, the technological advance is getting faster, and some new industry or uh, some new uh, market has grown up rapidly these days. So uh, in order to catch up this situation, uh, we are now focusing more on uh, R&D startups. 
Okay, so this is about the uh, uh, whole image of our uh, support for R&D uh, SMEs or startups. And the first one is uh, the support program to tech startups. We support entrepreneurs, uh, entrepreneurs or uh, startups who are just start their own business. So and this is the A, and I, I, today I'd like to talk, uh, talk about this mainly. And the second one is a B, uh, Venture Commercialization Development Pro Support Program. Uh, this is a program for, uh, mainly for the uh, SMEs in order to uh, overcome the value of this. And after that, uh, we are doing some matching activities like she. And through these programs, uh, we are trying to uh, bring them up from the egg to the eagle. And and I'd like to show which, which, which NEDO supports. For example, uh, photosynth, microwave chemical, cyberdyne, spiral, and so on. These are the very excellent R&D uh, startups. Okay, so uh, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, the uh, startups promotion program. We, uh, we are uh, conducting four programs in this uh, phase. And the first one is technology startup, uh, technology commercialization program, we call it TCP. TCP is a, a business plan training program for entrepreneurs. Uh, second one is startup innovator, SUI program. Uh, we support SUI uh, with the uh, catalyzers, and the catalyzers is the uh, uh, experts of business plan. The third one is seed stage technology-based startups, STS program. Uh, we support STS with VCs, uh, which NEDO certifies. And the last one is startups in corporate alliance, SCA program. Uh, we support SCA, who is conducting joint research with corporates. And this is a, a detail of TCP. Uh, TCP provides business plan training and uh, pitch events to the uh, entrepreneurs or researchers who, uh, who, uh, uh, who aim to start a new uh, business with their own technologies. And this is about the uh, SUI program. Uh, we we support, uh, we provide SUI uh, to the uh, uh, SUI the uh, R&D subsidies up to uh, 35 million yen within one year, and uh, advice for the business plan from the catalyzers. And the, this is the detail of SDS. Uh, first, in, in this program, firstly. Uh, we certify the VCs from all over the world. And second, secondary, uh, if certified VCs invest to STS, we also uh, provide the uh, R&D subsidy up to 70, uh, 70 million yen within two years to them. Uh, we are uh, trying to construct the ecosystem of uh, raising up the uh, startups through this program. And the last one is SCA. Uh, we support SCA. Uh, with, uh, we we uh, provide them. We provide SCA uh, up, uh, R and D subsidy up to 70 million yen within one year in order to uh, promotion promote the open innovation. So that uh, these these four projects are the support for uh, startups. And also, uh, this is a uh, uh, this is a uh, detail of uh, commercialization de development and support program for SMEs. And this is uh, this is uh, activities of matching. Uh, we we offer uh, some uh, exhibition or pitch to the uh, SMEs and SMEs and startups. Also, uh, we introduce them to the, some financial institution to uh, make the matching. And I'd like to uh, introduce you the uh, Japan Open Innovation Council. We call it JOIC. 
uh, JOIC was established uh, in order to uh, share the information about open innovation. Uh, we are holding uh, the seminar or some subnado pitch or and uh, publish, uh, publishing the uh, open innovation uh, white paper. Okay, so uh, this is uh, our support program for SMEs and startups. Uh, as I introduce you, uh, NEDO supports uh, startups and S startups and SMEs uh, for uh, several phases. Then I'd like to uh, show you the important point for uh, startups. The first one is customer needs. Uh, sometimes uh, R&D startups uh, focusing only on their technology and go uh, wrong direction. However, a customer will pay for service, uh, product, or a solution, not for the technology itself. So therefore, it is uh, very important to know who is a customer and what do they need uh, so as not to waste your time and money. The second point is team. It is very, very hard uh, to manage manage the, all the uh, things uh, by oneself. So it is very important to team up. And I'd like to uh, recommend to team up with the business person, uh, technology person, and financial person. And the business person is most important. And the third point is long-term planning. Uh, R&D startups often takes a lot of money and time until they make a success. So uh, they should set a big goal and uh, big goal and a long-term plan to make the success. And also, uh, supporters should have long-term perspective too. Okay, and so uh, today. Uh, the five speakers will uh, talk about these three points soon later. Mr. Tsushima from Indie Japan is a NEDO cat uh, business catalyzer. And Mr. Maeda is also a, a business catalyzer of NEDO and a member of Certified VC. And they, are the, uh, they are one of the greatest uh, supporters of startups in Japan. And also, uh, four excellent startups uh, which NEDO supports uh, is coming to this startup Thailand. One of them is Photosins, and they are in the Japan Pavilion. And other, uh, other three startups will, QD Razor and Metzera, uh, will talk about their experience of business. So don't miss it. OK, that's all. And, and this photo is uh, a member of our, uh, our department, Innovation and Promotion Department. So we will support, uh, we will support R and D startups strongly. Thank you very much. Kopen Cup. Mr. Ibuki, thank you for introducing NEDO scheme and speakers. Uh, now the next speaker is Dr. Tsushima, who specializes in catalyzer. Through the presentation, Dr. Tsushima will share his expertise on Catalyzer and why he joined NEDO's scheme. Dr. Tsushima, please. Sorry, Gop. My name is Tatsuro Tsushima. I'm a member of NEDO Catalyzer and Business, uh, business Accelerator. This slide shows uh, my uh, experience based on the, this kind of the catalyzer. My background is an uh, engineer, so I designed a uh, human powered aircraft and uh, some racing cars. After that, uh, I started a uh, venture company about uh, 16 years ago. We, our team uh, aimed to make an IPO, but we couldn't. Uh, we made a very good product, we think. <laughs> I, I'd like to find uh, the reason why we, our product can't sell. 
After that, we met uh, Clayton Christensen, uh, the photo uh, right, right, right side of this uh, slide. We met uh, some solution about uh, how to uh, be under our failure. So I'd like to introduce uh, some uh, this point uh, briefly today. First of all, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Indie Japan. Indie Japan is a, uh, uh, we established uh, three people about six years ago. We work with the uh, first one is a uh, work with uh, Japanese, uh, Japanese and worldwide uh, large companies. We produce uh, innovation management and uh, some consulting uh, support. Second one is uh, uh, work with uh, venture companies. We uh, manage uh, acceleration program. Uh, so this, uh, our experience of uh, both sides, uh, our I really think our differences uh, compared with the uh, consulting firm. If you know the Clayton Christensen, Clayton Christensen wrote a very famous uh, book, uh, Innovator's you know, Dilemma, about uh, 20 years ago. He's a, uh, we think he's an inventor of the concept of the, you know, uh, disruptive innovation. So I think uh, he's very famous in America and Euro, but uh, I think uh, he's not so famous in a Asian area, I think. So today's uh, concept of uh, I, I talk, so I will talk uh, uh, based on Clayton Christensen's concept. And uh, in Japan is a uh, partner of uh, Insight. Insight is Clayton uh, Christensen established uh, six, uh, 70 years ago in Boston. We are the, uh, one of the uh, Japanese partner. This is our corporate client in Japan. You know that there are Many famous uh, large Japanese companies have to make uh, new uh, business and industries, uh, enter the industri industries, because uh, you know the, uh, this market is uh, decreasing now. So their companies challenge, uh, make a challenge to develop new businesses. This is our supporting uh, large companies' point. Another side of our business is uh, we manage our uh, acceleration program uh, from last year. Uh, we are focusing on the hardcore technology, same as uh, NEDO, NEDO support. For example, life science and uh, educational tech and uh, robotics, uh, which uh, improve our QOL. We invest, invest or we co-found in Germany, small amount of money and uh, provide uh, Training and uh, mentoring and office. Uh, we think uh, we our acceleration program is uh, we uh, we work with them uh, as a co-founder. This is our point of uh, our acceleration. We uh, co-founded about uh, eight companies last year. These four is an uh, example. First one is a uh, new solution burn and skill problems. Uh, this company is our first one. We incubated uh, in Indie Japan. Uh, we fall for, we fall for this, uh, this company is our uh, uh, last phase to exit to Japanese uh, large pharmaceutical company. If we can, uh, I, uh, we, we can inform uh, good, good information for, uh, for you uh, until this end of this year. Uh, second one is our, uh, Collaborate with uh, Thai Mahidong Universities. Uh, this company is uh, want to make a uh, PBAX malaria uh, research platform uh, 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 with user IPS IPS uh, cells and other stem cells. And the third one is uh, one uh, robotics robotics concept. Uh, this concept is a communication robot using a famous Japanese. Uh, Animation character. It's uh, uh, called the Tachikoma. This is our uh, new challenge to communication robot. Last one is a wearable device for uh, sleep di disasters. You know that many countries uh, have uh, this kind of problem. And uh, why we call that this is a uh, hardcore tech is uh, this, uh, this algorithm has uh, clinical evidence. 
this is the important point of the expander or this kind of a product uh, uh, in the future. This is our example of the uh, invest uh, experience. Today, uh, we don't have a, much, a lot of time, so uh, we will, uh, I will briefly uh, introduce uh, of our acceleration methodologies. First of all, uh, I introduce our uh, Japanese uh, ecosystem, issue of uh, Japanese ecosystem. You know, there are, in Japan, there are many uh, kind of uh, venture capitals, but uh, we think uh, many of them is uh, focusing on the right side of this uh, chart. After the uh, early and right, many players are focusing on this area. So we think uh, needles Needle challenge, but it's very important for uh, hardcore and hard science tech uh, venture capitals. We are focusing on the more faster, uh, we call precede, precede stage. So uh, I think uh, our, ch our challenge and our challenge is, is very uh, good synergy and support to uh, make a new hard tech and science tech uh, uh, venture business uh, in Japan. Next, I'd like to introduce our acceleration methodology uh, of the one, uh, one, uh, one concept. I introduce our, uh, about team, team uh, member skills. First of all, we have to understand the skill set is different from the existing business manager for entrepreneurs and innovators. Uh, this uh, report is based on the Creighton Christensen research. If you know the, if you are interested in this more, I recommend this book, The Innovator's DNA. It's uh, published about five years ago. Uh, Creighton Christensen and other researchers uh, researched uh, this kind of the very famous American CEO uh, and entrepreneurs and uh, innovators. And they, uh, they found uh, some same point, uh, these, uh, these passions. Uh, this uh, result is, of course, is very important, I think. First one, uh, this chart uh, indicates the uh, vertical axis is a percentile rank uh, or samples. And the horizontal, on the horizontal axis indicates the meta scale. For example, associating, question, questioning, and observing, exper experimenting, and uh, networking. We can understand the such kind of uh, innovator and entrepreneur has uh, these uh, five meta skills is very high about uh, more than 70% uh, of the uh, uh, all, all samples. This is one, uh, one point is that these five skills, uh, meta skills is important for entrepreneur. But the other hand, these four uh, traditional management skills, these skills are, you know, the MBA, traditional MBA program is focusing on the, improve these kind of skills. For example, analyzing, planning, detail-oriented, self-disciplined. This chart indicated uh, these kind of the, uh, skills all over entrepreneurs is extremely low, very low. This result is uh, entrepreneurs need uh, another meta skill before uh, we focusing on. This is an important point of the uh, entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneur team, too. especially see the stage, co-founders team is very important. This is an example of the uh, successful player, successful entrepreneur and co-founder. You know the Honda, Soichiro Honda and uh, Fujisawa. Uh, Center of this picture is Sony's, Sony's founder, Morita and Ibuka. Last one is a very famous people, uh, Apple, Apple Computer's founders, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. 
So founder is uh, this kind of uh, two different type of team is very important. Is there uh, first uh, we are focusing on if we will support or we invest or not is very important point uh, of these things. Next one is uh, how to mark uh, product or services fit to market. This is very difficult and important point, uh, uh, especially high technology and uh, science-based uh, technology go to the market. How to find the uh, customer needs? We spend uh, most time to uh, test uh, this kind of the challenge. This analogy is very important for especially researchers and engineers. Product and service are the same as magic. Consumers and their customers don't know, have, uh, don't, don't have to know the trick, but we enjoy it. But most of the researchers and the scientists talk about their own technology and the science thing, <laughs> uh, comment. We have to uh, change this mind. It's very important. How to find the real needs? We, are, we use uh, this kind of concept, job to be done. Job to be done is uh, uh, ex explained uh, innovator dilemma uh, in, uh, 20 years ago by Clayton Christensen. Job to be done are problems that customers need to solve in their lives. This means is uh, very important. For example, we often talk about the purpose of good activities. For example, we can reduce my weight if you play this movement every five minutes. But we can't do only five minutes every day. But uh, we, we often produce uh, this kind of service and the product. But uh, this uh, not work. Second point is a better point compared with other products and services. Users don't uh, interested in uh, only a geek and the only high-end user focusing on the, these uh, differences. A third point is the right things for the world. For example, social business and the NPO are focusing on the how, how right, how good for the world or the human life. But uh, every almost of uh, uh, users can't pay this kind of the product and service. We have to accept uh, these differences, right to uh, pay money or not. So we have to focus on their job to be done. This, this is an example of job to be done. Uh, this is a very famous story of the um, joy and the fall. Famous uh, professor said the uh, user don't, customer don't need a drill. They need only four. So if they need a four, they can accept the, any kind of the product and services. Not only drill. This is a very important point of the job view. Second point of the job to be done concept we have to think about the three kind of jobs. One is the functional jobs. This is very easy to, uh, easy to think about the functional. How fast, how right, this is very important. But in these days, uh, developed countries, users focusing on the more emotional, how feel, and the more social. Social is very difficult because we have to incite their mind and their, their culture and their lifestyle. But uh, this social jobs is uh, very important right now. Describe how the customers want to be perceived by others. Others, how do you think about themselves? This is very important, three points. If we can find the customer job, or we, have, we make an assumption of jobs, next, we have to clear the, these kind of the barrier. We should think about this is a framework, these five points, we, we have to clear by 
technologies. For example, one is a wealth, wealth. This is a cost in the uh, price. If we can produce a very cheaper price, some customer, new customer pay that services on the product. This is a barrier. Price is a barrier. Technology can create one is a barrier, and the mostly uh, skills barrier is a very important point for the technology and the science. This, this example is uh, for old people and uh, elder people and uh, young people have to, and they, if they can't use a uh, uh, keyboard, a uh, blind touch, they want to use a P PC, personal computer, but they can't. This uh, iPad and iPhone is an uh, intuitive interface and the touch panel interface clear this barrier. This is an example of the functional barrier. Last one, last one point. If that job to be done is existing, the customer still solves another way, another solution. We have to find the another solution they do right now. This is a very good uh, point, uh, find, detect the job to be done. This uh, example is uh, if we have to uh, go back to home by car at night, <laughs> we use uh, these uh, tape and the uh, light. This is uh, one of the uh, new uh, existing solution. Existing solution. Importance of this point. Yes, this is a. Uh, uh, we, we don't have a lot of time, so we, I can't uh, pro, uh, into, uh, introduce uh, much. If you would like to know more of that, last year, Clayton Christensen released a new book about uh, job to be done concept. Please read it. Uh, I recommend this book. Next one is uh, Reduce Uncertainty. Reduce Uncertainty is, uh, means uh, Another concept, uh, uh, another concept of uh, uh, lean startup. Uh, this chart uh, is uh, indicates the uh, difficulty of the startup, startup businesses. We have to test and run these three three regions. One is uh, is there a need? Is there a need? Is there a market? Is a one point. Second point is uh, can you, can we deliver or can you product, provide this service over uh, product? Last one is uh, is it worth it? We can get money. Oh, uh, I recommend uh, we sh uh, we should uh, divide uh, these three categories under uh, plan to uh, test and run under. Uh, Existing company is uh, most uh, uncertainty is uh, sent up on second point, around the challenges. So this is the reason why uh, existing company is focusing on around the sections. But the startup com up company is uh, uh, test these three every everything. And the most uncertainty point is the market. Is there a need or not? First of all, we have to focus on the, this area under much time, uh, under test. I re uh, we recommend uh, uh, these three regions. And this is a uh, lesson learned from the Silicon Valley companies. Only 3% startups have to success with their initial plan. This means uh, most of success, success, successful companies change their plan and change their business model. But how many people and we our education education point we we should uh, do fast plan. This is a mental barrier over of us. We have to learn about the, this lessons learned. This chart is uh, indicates the uh, uh, 
uh, fast, fast flight, a fast flight of uh, Wright Brothers. Every, every people knows that Wright Brothers is a fast human Wright flight, but Wright, uh, Wright Brothers uh, is the inventor of the wind tunnel and the test system. This is more important for under, understand these challenges. They tested much before they fly like humor. This is an important point of the test and round. Last is uh, raise money. We have to raise money continuously and uh, continue R&D and uh, sustainable, uh, to be sustainable our companies. Pitch is very important. Pitch is important for raising money. But, and the story is the most important of the pitch. I, I heard uh, many, many kind of pitch uh, this startup Thailand, but I think uh, many people can improve. Only use this framework. I recommend this book. Uh, you can see the, uh, this uh, review of 99 customer under five stars. This is very high highlight point. Our team uh, translate uh, in Japanese. I recommend uh, some, some people <laughs> translate uh, in Thai, Thai languages. <laughs> and, uh, I think uh, if, if we use uh, this uh, same, same framework, you can easily to improve your pitch. Summary. Uh, this con conclusion of this, uh, our, uh, our, uh, my presentation, startup needs a team two different types of the meta skills I introduced. And we have to deeply understand the customer and match technology and the market. I repeat, I repeat, I, I repeat. We have to think about our customer and we have to know deeply. Last one is uh, apply the correct process and methodology. Uh, I, uh, we co-founded uh, every company use this methodology. And uh, every company go very good, I, uh, I feel. So I'd like to, and I and the NEDO uh, try to transfer this kind of the methodology to uh, with uh, NIA, uh, we we are making a new scheme to supporting steam. We try to use these kind of the methodology. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Tsushima, for the presentation. Now we would like to close the first part of the session. May I remind you that the second part of the session will begin at 3.50 p.m., an hour from now. It would be great if you could attend the for following session as well. Thank you, and see you all later. Thank you very much. Please give a big round of applause. Thank you, all speakers, and you as an MC from NATO. This is only the first part. Of